Do you poop out pizza? Mm-hmm. But it, but it's brown in a different shape. It's brown pizza? Mm, yeah, but it's not the shape. It's not the shape of pizza anymore, is it? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Um, nuggets. Ramen noodles. Garlic chicken. So when you swallow food, where does that food go? In our belly? In the fridge. Um, it goes down your throat and into your stomach. Do you know what the digestive system is? Doesn't it go like down your throat and it goes down here and then there's a squeeze spot and then it comes out? Sure. Yeah, that's perfect. So everything we're going to talk about right now is the digestive tract. This is a head. It's cut in half. It's not a real head. It's just a pretend, but here's a tongue. Here's a mouth. And what do you think this is right here? Your heart. Well, that's a good guess. So that's your stomach. <laughs> Where's your belly? Okay. So you eat it up the rib, you chew it up, and you swallow it down. It goes down this slippery tube. Well, what is that called? This is called the esophagus. Can you say esophagus? Esophagus. Good. So this is what takes the food down your neck, down your chest, and then it puts the food down into your stomach. What is the shape of a stomach? Maybe a circle or oval. Oval-ish shape. Kind of want to say like shaped kind of like a bean. Yeah, that's good. How long do you think food sits in the stomach? Well, it has to get digested. So about two hours, maybe 12 hours a week. <laughs> Good guess. So it's actually about four to five hours. And then where does it go after the stomach? Um, through your intestines. There's a small intestines and a large intestine. In the small intestine, it absorbs all the nutrients. The small intestines is broken up into three different parts. So we'll learn them, okay? The duodenum. The duodenum, that's a hard thing to say. The second part's the jejunum. That's a funny word. Yeah, can you say it? Jejunum. Jejunum, yeah, I think I can. Good. Third one is ilium. Ilium. Good. That sounds like Italy. The small intestines is very long if you spread this all out. It's actually 22 to 23 feet long. It would be longer than your car, your mom and dad's car. Gosh, that's long. The food has to travel all the way through that. So after the small intestines, then where does the food go? You poop it out. <laughs> Close, there's one more spot. It goes into the large intestines. And then the large intestine is for creating the waste. Because you can see how it's bigger. And then it comes out your bottom. We call that the rectum. The rectum. That's kind of funny looking. So your mouth to your bottom where your poop comes out, is just one big tube, like really? a straw. I didn't know that. But it's pretty cool. That, I mean, that's a pretty amazing and fantastic thing about your body, that you can eat some of your favorite foods. And it will come out. Right. And then you can eat again. Exactly. So it's fun that you can eat again. <laughs>